Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video I have another gift guide for you. So in this gift guide I'm going to be talking about gifts for gym goers. Whether you work out in the comfort of your own home and you have a home gym, there are gifts for you and there are also gifts for people that actually go to a physical gym. Um, there's gifts for everyone and all genders and all price ranges so I've tried to include a bit of everything. So I am going to try and include this in order of sort of budget and hopefully someone can find a gift that works for them. Whether you are looking for gifts for yourself, whether you are looking for ideas for gifts to sort of give other people ideas of what to buy for you, or whether you are looking for a specific gift for a gym goer in your life, I hope that this video is helpful and you're able to find something here. So I'm going to start with my first item. This one I don't think you can really go wrong with and it's socks. So everyone sort of likes socks around the Christmas time. And these are from Hexi. So these are different funky prints that I think really spice up your outfit when you are in the gym. They're really good quality. They have like a stretchy band around the arch to sort of give you a bit more support. And they're made of a really nice comfy material as well but they do loads and loads of prints available on the website. So I've got this one here, which is sort of like almost a 90s print. Um, similarly uh, to the print that I just showed, I've got this one which has like squiggles on it almost and different shapes. I have a pair that have got fruit on them like this. And then I've got sort of almost sprinkles on socks. So I've got these ones. I have a bunch of others but they have loads of prints on the website ranging from sort of tie-dye to animal prints, smiley faces, anything you can think of really they do on their website. They also have seasonal socks as well so if you're looking for like a, a themed pair of Christmas socks they have them available on the website at the moment. Uh, the socks range from I think they're about £13. Some of these sort of no-show trainer sock style uh, might be a bit cheaper but these styles specifically range from about 13 to 15 pounds uh, and I think they're just like a great gift and like I said they spice up any sort of outfit that you're wearing if you're wearing like a plain outfit and you just want to spice it up a little bit socks are a great idea so I think they're a good gift to give. My next gift is a workout log so if you are one of those that likes to write down your workout in a sort of journal then this is a good idea or if you don't and you're one of those that sort of takes notes in your phone and you want a way to sort of write down your exercise and things like that, then a workout log slash training log is a really good idea. I got this off Amazon. I think it was about £8. They have different designs and things like that on the Amazon seller that I bought it from. I'll try to leave links of everything down in the description if anyone's interested. But it's basically just a neat way for you to sort of write down your specific training. So you're able to write down your exercise. And then you've got rep, uh, sets here where you can write down your reps and your weight. And I just think it's a really good idea to sort of keep track. So you're able to keep track of your weights and whether you get any PBs or anything like that. It's got like rest intervals and tempo down the bottom. Other than this style, there's also one called, I think it's the Gym Edition, which goes into a bit more detail, has a bit more pages on there other than just sort of your training for the day. Like you can track your measurements and things like that in there, so that's pretty nifty. So I'll leave both of those suggestions down in the description, but I think that's another sort of really great item to have as a gym goer. My next item is a water bottle, so it is important to stay hydrated no matter the time of day, but it's even more important to make sure you're hydrated during your workout. So I've got two sort of, um, of similar uh, style that I use, and it's basically these sort of flask type ones, which keep your drinks uh, hot, hot or cold, depending on which one you have in it. I've got this one that's got cat prints, if you are familiar if you know me then you'll know that I love cats so I drink out of this bottle quite frequently and I just love the little cat print on it. I think I got this from I want to say Home Bargains um, so you can get them as cheap as that. I also have this one here this is from Chili's and it's got my initials on the other side. I'm pretty sure Chili's do this. I got this as part of a brand thing that I was doing so they customized it, customized it for me but I'm pretty sure 
Chili's probably does it on their website. Otherwise, there are definitely going to be brands out there that will be able to customise your sort of colour of your bottle and what you want on it. So, like I said, this one's from Chili's, but they oh, there's also Swell that also do really nice designs. Other than that, there are uh, Hydra Jug, which is a good brand for water bottles. That's become really popular. I've seen it all over Instagram. They're the ones that sort of have like, it's almost, I think they're about half gallon of, of water that you can store in the bottle. And they have like a protective, like fabric casing around the outside with a strap. So you can basically carry it wherever you want. If you were going on a walk, if you're going to the gym, you're just able to sort of swing it over your shoulder and carry your water with me, uh, with you. So I think that's a really great idea. So yeah, a decent water bottle to sort of carry with you is a good idea. And it's, it's incentivizing to have like a nice looking water bottle to remind you to drink. My next gift idea and one that you will be thank or your hips will be thankful for, should I say, is a barbell pad. So this one I have is from Iron Ball Strength and yeah, you can use these for hip thrusts. So you put it over the barbell, you slip, slip th this one, you just slip it on, you don't have to sort of strap it onto the bar. And yeah, it just protects your sort of hips and your stomach when you have quite a lot of weight on your bar. I have seen people go to the gym and they just sort of use like a really thin towel or a gym mat and I think having your own sort of barbell pad that you can carry in your gym bag is a really great gift idea so a decent quality barbell uh, you can't go wrong with. I think I bought mine for I want to say about £25 but they can range depending on what brand you get. I'll leave a couple of suggestions down in the description if you are sort of interested and based off sort of price range. So the next gift idea that I have is a barbell jack. So I bought this from Amazon again. There is another brand out there, I can't remember the name but I will leave it here which is uh, a popular brand on Instagram. And basically the idea of this is that you slot your barbell into this little nook here and it just lifts your barbell off the floor so that it's easier to put your weight plates on. I was really struggling initially when we got our home gym set up to put heavier plates on the barbell. So I was having to juggle, sort of having to hold the barbell whilst also trying to slot the plates on. So this basically just holds it in place and gives you sort of a free hand in order to use both hands in order to pull a heavier plate onto your barbell. I think they're just a really good idea and they're like small enough to fit in a gym bag and things like that. And yeah, I just find it th this super handy. So I will leave this specific one in the description along with the other popular brand that I can't think of the name of, but it will come to me at some point. But this is another re really great gift if you sort of struggle with getting your weight plates on. So my next gift is more for the home gym people rather than the people that go to an actual gym, just because you will have a resistance machine that you can use in a gym but they are rubber resistance bands. So these go up to different weights depending on which one you're using. They have a little tab on the end that shows the weight that it's sort of equivalent to if you were sort of using a machine instead. And they have like these little attachments that come with them so you can hook them over your door and basically use them the same as you would a cable machine. So I find these really handy for sort of doing uh, exercises in the Tone and Sculpt Gym Guide that use a cable machine because obviously I don't have one of those in my, in my home gym, I don't have the space for it but I do have the space for sort of keeping these little rubber resistance bands in a, a set of drawers and just pulling these out when I need to do exercises that require a cable machine so these are really handy. You can do all sorts of exercises with them. Like I said, you get the accessories to sort of be able to clip them onto things. So you get like a door hook that you can use. You get handles that you can clip onto the ends. So obviously you can stand on them and do different exercises that way. You can wrap the cables around a piece of equipment that you have in your home gym. And yeah, I get loads of use out of these for loads of different exercises. So they're a great shout. I think they're about, I want to say they range from about £20 on Amazon and there's loads of different types available and they go up to uh i think the highest one i've got on here is 18 kilos so that's this blue one here so like you see on the tab it says 18 kilos or 40 pounds and the sort of thinner the band that you get the smaller the weight and then you can combine them in order to get more weight with the cables 
So I think they're a really great gift to have if, you're, if you've got home gym basically. You get loads of use out of these for different exercises. The next gift idea I have are fabric resistance bands. I think these are a really great staple to have in your gym bag and even in your home gyms. And they just allow you to sort of one up the exercises that you're currently doing to add a little bit of resistance to. So these shorter bands you get in a set of three. So you've got a medium, you've got a light and you've got a heavy. So you get three bands available in a pack. And you can use these for hip thrusts, donkey kickbacks, things like that. You can put around your ankles and it's just to add a little more resistance to your usual exercises. And I think they're just a really great tool to have in your gym. Uh, there are also long types of resistance bands. So this is double the length and you can use these for sort of overhead presses. Again, they come in light medium and heavy they have three different colors and you get like a little case that you can put them in and i think they're just a really great tool uh, both sets of resistance bands to have in your gym bag or in your home gym to spice up your exercises basically so these are relatively cheap i think each set is probably about 20 pounds i'll try and link the sets that i have down in the description below I think they're far better than sort of the rubber resistance bands that you can get. I found that the rubber type resistance bands uh, like stuck to my leggings and they pilled my leggings quite a lot. Whereas with the fabric resistance bands, I feel like they're a lot better quality. They're obviously not going to snap on you if you put too much resistance on them. And yeah, just easier to sort of use. And they have like a, a rubber lining so they won't sort of slip down or roll down or anything like that. They are really good quality. So yeah, a good item to have in your gym bag. My next item for a gift is to buy them a decent set of either lifting straps or lifting gloves to protect your hand when you're lifting weights. If you've got either a, dumbbell, a heavy dumbbell in your hand or a heavy barbell, these are to sort of give you extra grip and to protect your hand from calluses and things like that. Obviously it's inevitable when you're sort of lifting heavy weights, but this sort of helps to give you that added protection. I have these ones from Beast Gear. Beast Gear is quite a good brand and they do all sorts of like gym sort of equipment. And like you can see this, uh, part of it wraps around the barbell or whatever it is that you're trying to grip and just adds that bit more grip to it and then it's got a loop for your hand to go around uh, with like this padded bit here so obviously the end of the strap goes through the loop here and then you wrap this around your wrist sort of gives you that extra extra protection so these are really great i do have a sort of cheapy pair of lifting gloves but i tend to resort more to the grips rather than the lifting gloves but they do have loads of different sort of brands of lifting gloves available you can get them on amazon you can get loads of different brands so it's just your sort of personal preference on whether you prefer lifting straps or gloves or maybe both depending on what type of exercise you're doing so it's definitely worth doing your research into lifting straps and gloves to find the right ones for you. Next gift is a decent pair of ankle uh, straps that you can use if you are, for example, using the rubber bands that I showed earlier or whether you are using a cable machine in the gym. I, I think you tend to get like generic little straps that you can put around your ankles in order to use on the machines. But I think having a decent quality ankle strap is really good these sort of protect your ankles they're padded and they've got these little hoops here that you can connect to a cable machine in the gym or resistance bands that i showed earlier and they've got like a velcro fastening on the end it just means that you don't sort of have to use the uh bands and things that they give you in the gym to use with the cable machines you can use your own sort of personal ones i have this like leopard print one but they do loads of other designs available depending on which brand you get these are from fit griff i bought them on amazon i think i got these for as a gift last christmas christmas actually and i use these when i'm doing sort of kickbacks with the resistance bands and i just attach them to sort of the door or the squat rack that i have in my home gym and i just find them far more comfortable than they sort of like really crappy quality ones that you get 
with say the resistance band set or the ones that you get in the gyms so yeah good one to sort of pop in your bag and to be able to use your own my next gift idea is a decent quality skipping rope i know that people use different uh, methods in order to warm up for their workout. I like to skip before my workout even if it's just five to ten minutes. Other people like to do like running on the treadmill and things like that just to sort of warm up their body ready for a workout. But I think a decent quality skipping rope for doing your drills and things in either your gym or your home gym or whatever is a really good shout. Crappy skipping ropes are just the worst for skipping with and, and a decent quality speed rope. Uh, specifically is really great for skipping I have this one from Beast Gear it's the same one that I had for the wraps that I showed earlier um, so like I said they do lots of different sort of items and a skipping rope is one of them so yeah this is a really decent decent rope they've got like these uh, little adjustments with a sort of screw that you can use to adjust the length of the rope Obviously, it's really important to get the length of the rope right as well because you don't want to be tripping over your skipping rope and things like that. But I've not had any issues with this. It's not broken. I've not had the sort of wire on it go or anything like that. It's been a really sort of decent quality skipping rope. So I definitely recommend checking out Beast Gear if you want a decent skipping rope for warming up with. My second to last gift that I've got for this budget range is this nifty little bit of kit here. I got this from Decathlon and it's basically like a sort of push-up bar slash roller. So it's got three different ways that you can use the actual uh, equipment itself. Let me just take it apart so I can actually show you. So you get this one section here which is basically just a handle for you, for you to be able to do basic push-ups off the floor and the sort of premise with this is that it's a way to sort of alleviate the pressure on your wrists so I have quite a few issues with my wrists and then hurting during push-ups and I find it far easier to sort of use like a raised platform to do my push-ups on so I tend to use just this section for doing push-ups on the floor so that's the first section the next little piece that you get that goes along with the push-up uh, sort of handle is this section here and this clips onto the bottom of the push-up bar basically like this and it's got almost like a balance board effect so it's quite curved as you might be able to sort of tell so it's got like this ball point at the end and this just makes push-ups just that little bit tougher because you're having to use balance in order to um, sort of stabilise yourself when you're doing the push-ups on the floor. It just sort of like wobbles about and makes things harder. So it's just that little extra oomph that you get out of doing a standard push-up. And then the other section that I have is a sort of roller section. You clip this section again onto the little push-up handle and it's got little rollers on the bottom so that you can move your arms out to the side or in front of you if you wanted to use it as like an ab roller sort of thing. You get a pair of these, so you get two. I'm just showing one here just for the purpose of the video, but you get two of them. So you could hold both of them in your hand and be able to use them as like an ab roller to go in and out. And I just think it's a funky bit of kit that you can use like multiple ways in order to get uh, different uses out of the equipment for different exercises and it's small enough for you to sort of be able to keep in a gym bag to be able to store in a pair of drawers in your gym and just yeah use them if and when you need them to sort of get little ab workouts in there or to sort of ver uh, do variations of push-ups and things like that just to sort of get a little bit of difference out of your exercises so I think this is like a really nice little bit of kit and it's relatively cheap as well i can't remember how much i got it for but it was from decathlon and it was pretty cheap so i will leave the exact link that i've got for this down in the description if i can't find it then i'll link a very similar alternative i have my last item for sort of the lower end of the budget with gym uh gifts and i would probably say this is more suited for home gym goers than people that actually go to the gym but there's no reason why you can keep it in your gym bag and it is a push-up board so basically it is a board like this it's got um, attachments which you can uh, attach the resistance bands that I showed you earlier 
but it's basically a board that you get handles with and you, depending on the colour that you slot your handles in, it works a different part of your body. I really like this for sort of getting my hand positioning right for push-ups. I have been working this year on trying to get full push-ups and I do think this is really handy for sort of getting the right position with your hands and overall it's just a really good piece of equipment for sort of targeting different areas of, and different muscles that you want to use so it targets back chest triceps and shoulders so i'll turn the board over again so you can see it but back is the yellow ones that you can see there the uh what is it the chest is the blue little section so you can place your uh handles into the blue sections for the chest You've got triceps, which is the green coloured sections, and then the shoulders is the red section. So I just think it's like a funky little bit of kit. If you want to work on your push-ups or sort of have different ways to do your push-ups in order to target certain areas, I think it's a nifty little bit of kit that you can have in your home gym and things like that. Like I said, it's not so much something that you would take to a physical gym, but something that you could use for sort of doing an extra little bit of a workout at home if you preferred. I got this from Philip for Christmas last year and got quite a lot of use out of it just sort of practicing my push-ups and getting my form correct. So it's been a sort of nifty little bit of kit that I've had. Before I move on to the higher budget priced items, I would just like to put it out there that you can also get gift cards available for people. So if you don't have too high of a budget or you don't really know what to buy someone, then a gift card is always a good shout. You can get a gift card for their favourite gym wear brand, so whether that be Honor Active, Fabletics, uh, Gymshark, um, Bow and Tee, places like that, then you can always buy a gift card for one of their favourite stores to buy more active wear. You could get a gift card for a shoe brand or company that they can buy a pair of shoes from or put towards. Uh, if they wanted a pair of lifting shoes like Nike Metcons or something like that then you could get a gift card for that. Uh, other than that you can't go wrong with buying them a gift card for a supplement company that they use so that they can buy protein powder, creatine, uh, pre-workout things like that that is all helpful to a gym goer so getting a gift card for one of those so you've obviously got the, uh, companies like women's best you've got my protein there's like loads of other different brands out there they're just the ones that i specifically use uh, but you could buy a gift card for those sort of brands as well so they've got the option of buying the things that they actually want rather than you have to sort of think of the ideas so yeah that's just another idea for a sort of gift so we are now moving on to the more sort of expensive items in the gift guide and these are just if you've got uh, a lot more of a budget or if you're buying for yourself and things like that. So the first item that I've got is a decent pair of wireless headphones. There is nothing worse than being in the middle of a set or the middle of a workout, you're in the zone and your earphone drops out of your ear because you've either tugged on the wire or it's got caught somewhere. And it's just super annoying, it's super off-putting and a decent pair of wireless headphones is a must. These are a pair of AirPods, these are the second gen version, they've also got the third gen version. The only thing I would say with the third gen version of AirPods is that there's been a lot of complaints about the sort of fit in the ear. And I haven't used them but I didn't buy them based off the recommendations. There's also the AirPod Pros that you can use instead. They've obviously got the in-ear, so you've got like a bit more um, soundproofing, if you will. So if you're in a busy uh, gym environment, then you've got that extra sort of soundproofing proofing and noise cancellation in there. But yeah, this is a good choice if you're an Apple user. In terms of other brands, if you're not an Apple user or you don't really want to use these with your Android, then you've got the options of Beats. So you've got Beats by Dre. There are Jaybird Sports that also do air, uh, like in-ear wireless headphones. There's lots of different brands out there available. So yeah, I definitely recommend investing in a good pair of wireless earphones for the gym. It's basically a must-have to sort of be able to zone out and just get your jam on while you're doing your workout. If you are in a home gym and you don't typically tend to listen to music while you're in a home gym, I don't, for instance. I don't wear I don't wear any sort of 
earphones, wireless earphones. I use a Sonos. So if you've got your own home gym and you want to be able to listen to music whilst you are working out and you don't sort of want to use earphones while you're working out, then a Sonos is a great shout. My next sort of pricier item is a massage gun. I mentioned this in my gift guide for runners that I did the other day, but this has been an absolute godsend. After sort of hard workouts and things like that, when you've got DOMS, there's nothing better than using a massage gun to sort of alleviate the soreness and to get the knots out, uh, especially when you've got like tight muscles and sore muscles after your workouts. And I just generally feel like I recover better when I've used this after a workout. So mine is from Pulse Roll. You can get all sorts of brands. You've got the Theragun. You can get cheaper brands on Amazon. This is just specifically the one that I got. I bought it at the running show a couple of years ago and it basically looks like this so like i said it comes in the or like i showed you it comes in the case that i showed you it's this nice black and red design really nice to hold and it's got multiple speed settings available on there and i'll show you the inside of the case itself so you can see that so it basically comes with six heads to go into the massage gun for you to use and they target different uh, muscle groups and they have different purposes. You have like a little uh, booklet that you get with the pulse roll to sort of tell you the different areas that you can use the different attachments on and we get used to that out of this all the time. I feel like it's almost a daily use. So yeah, nice bit of kit to have as a gym goer. Uh, alternative to this, you've obviously got a foam roller that you can buy, like a decent quality foam roller. Or like I said, there are other brands out there that are a little bit cheaper. I think this one comes in at, I want to say 240 If I've got the price wrong, I'll leave it up here. They also do a mini version of this, uh, which I think is 100 and, I want to say 140 so I will leave both the links down below uh, in the description. I also have a £10 off voucher code that you can use as well that I'll leave down below. But yeah, this is a really decent piece of kit. Pulse Roll is a really great band. They also do like peanut style vibrate, vibrating little peanuts that you can use. They have little uh, vibrating balls that you can use for different muscles. And they've got a vibrating foam roller as well that I think they've got on the website. So it all depends on your personal preference. But yeah, I get so much use out of this that it's unreal. I use it pretty much every day. And yeah, godsend for recovery. So if you've got the budget for it, I definitely make sure you get a massage gun, even if it's a cheaper one. The last two items that I have to show you are very similar, but they are also very high in, bu in budget. So um, these are not for people that go to a uh, physical gym because obviously you wouldn't get a use out of it for that. But if you have your own home gym, then I think that an adjustable kettlebell and dumbbell, depending on the space that you have available in your home gym, is a must have. I have a very small gym space that I have available in my home gym so we weren't able to get sort of multiple bits of equipment. We had to space save as much as we could and we ended up going down the adjustable dumbbell and kettlebell route. So we didn't have to buy like five or six versions of uh, kettlebells to get, we didn't have to buy a whole rack of dumbbells. Not that we would have had the space to fit it in our home gym anyway, we obviously always had to go down the route of an adjustable uh, dumbbell and kettlebell and the brand that we settled on was Jack Shocks. I've recently done a Jack Shocks review for the dumbbells, I've got a kettlebell review coming out soon but basically a adjustable dumbbell or kettlebell is just a way to have multiple weights within the same item so that you can space save and yeah just be able to change weights quickly without having to fuss too much. The difference with jack shots compared to conventional adjustable kettlebells and dumbbells is that it's all done digitally. So the kettlebell or dumbbell depending on what you are using slots into a base and you are able to use buttons and an LCD screen to basically flip between weights really quickly. The sort of fastest it goes to change weights between is about three seconds, so it really is quite quick. 
usually on typical adjustable dumbbells and kettlebells you have like a dial or you'll have a mechanism in order to release weights from the kettlebell or the dumbbell that you're using and I just think jack shocks is such a convenient way of being able to switch weights and it's just been a really great addition to our home gym so if you've got the budget available for it and you've got a home gym I definitely recommend checking it out or there are other brands out there that are available if you don't want to spend as much money. For Jack Shocks, I think the adjustable kettlebell comes up to, I think it's 250, I think it's 250 quid. And the dumbbell set is 499, so nearly 500 quid. But when I priced up sort of getting um, a set of kettlebells or dumbbells equivalent to what I would have got in Jack Shocks, it came up to almost the same price and you wouldn't have got you wouldn't have realistically got the same sort of quality that you would get uh, if you were going for cheaper dumbbells in order to lessen the price so yeah it's all dependent on your preference and how much you want to spend but we've got so much use out of ours so yeah I thought it was worth sticking on the end of this video in case anyone was maybe looking for adjustable kettlebells and dumbbells to use so I think they're a great addition to your home gym if you are looking for them I think that's the only items that I've got. I think I've mentioned everything that I wanted to mention. So I'm going to wrap up the video here. So if you found the video helpful, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can always click the notification bell down below and you'll be notified of when my videos go live. Other than that, I hope you're all staying safe and well. I hope you all have a good week, weekend, whenever it is that you're watching this. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye.